Hey guys, um, Potato Tech here, and, um, I just bought this long-range FM transmitter for my, um, Christmas lights, and I'm just here to test it out and build it. It's a kit that came from eBay, but you can probably get it cheaper off of AliExpress. They're the same exact things, just different sellers. Here's the kit parts. The surface mount ones already came soldered, but you gotta solder these, which is easy. Came in a cable and comes with a screen and a heat sink. So let's open up this one. Don't want to break anything. Don't want to die either. This is weird. So let's see. So here's the screen. Looks nice. You put your buttons there and the cable there. Alright, so it has a micro SD card slot for, I guess, playing music. I actually didn't really look into that part. And um, it has your audio in to be played onto the radio frequency, and it also has a mic in. So, that's good. I'm not going to be using the mic. I'm going to be using the speakers, of course. And let's see what's in the bag. So we got the connectors for the wire, button, the antenna thingy, I really don't know what it's called, sorry. And, um, power jack, this is a 12 volt, this is 12 volts, inductor, just dump that out, more inductors. Here is a uh, triac or s something. I ain't never seen these parts. I guess this is a transistor. Another button. Screw, button. A variable capacitor. And more screws, inductors, and a connector. More screws, and inductor. So, yeah. I'm sorry that I I never seen this thing before. It's just like a transistor, but it's like really long. So the first thing I see weird about this kit is that it looks like this has been used. There's like all dirt on it, solder on it. Maybe they're reusing things. No clue. The leads look cut, so if you screw up, you, oh well, it's going to be hard to do again. Everything else looks fine though. So the only problem is this being dirty has solder and uh, this transistor is, the leads are cut already. So yeah, let's build this thing. Oh, I also bought this hacko. Well, I got it for my birthday. So far, I use it like once, and it's it's pretty nice. I love how I love how I, yeah, I love how having a set temperature, unlike my other soldering irons that I used to use. But this is good now, and it also has a stand in the the bristle stuff and the sponges, which is good. I never had a stand, and I really love it. Alright, so I, I kind of built it. These inductors, only these two dark ones had the coating off, which was very helpful. These four didn't. So, I had trouble soldering all those. I tried to take it off, but it didn't come off because I'm just a newbie. And uh, these screws, this isn't really on good. It's, it's on good with the 
the triac, but it's not really good on the board. Because, uh, these were really hard to screw in and I couldn't do it anymore. I was literally stripping the screw. So I, I plugged it in. And some Japanese or Chinese, I don't really know, came up on the screen for a couple setting setting seconds. And then I just clicked one of these buttons and it took me to a different screen, which is, let me set the frequency. If you press and hold the middle button, it lets you select the three options, which were frequency, the volume, and PO, which I guess means power output or something. I, it was on 300 for me. I don't know if that's bad. So who knows if the cops are going to be here soon. Um, this is up and this is down for the numbers and this just again selects everything so the only issue I had a problem with with this is the uh, the inductors were weren't really good and the uh, this wasn't either they should give threads and this also, they have a screw so you can put it on both ways, but obviously it didn't work because I tried it. So it was kind of uneven. It works, it's kind of staticky. That's probably because uh, my bad soldering on the inductors and uh, I gotta trim the capacitor. That's another reason probably. And I think this is true, if you have the radio and the transmitter too close, that, that also may make it more staticky. I'm not sure. I'm really, I, I, every time I turn this on, I'm really scared I'm going to get police coming to my door. Which they probably will soon. Uh, hopefully they'll let me go since I'm trying to learn and maybe, because it was a mistake, I, I don't really know. Wasn't trying to harm anyone. And I didn't go over anyone else's uh, frequencies. I went on an open one. So, yeah. Mm, I don't... I think there's better tra transmitters out there that you can buy. Instead of this one. This one was like $25. I think you can buy a better one. I would just buy a pre-made one. Like a house FM whole house yeah i think it's a whole house those are pretty good for uh christmas light shows but yeah there's other ones on ebay yeah well goodbye guys thank you for watching this very bad review um yeah